Now we know our awesome purpose. Let's meet our puppy. But first, a special military tribute from none other than the West Point Band. Take it away. Ladies, gentlemen, thank you very much. We have set the mood, thanks to the West Point Band, and now it is time for the big reveal, oh, all right? It's go. time to meet our puppy. Let's have a drum roll, please. She's going to be our puppy raiser. She comes from America's Vet Dogs. She's going to be with us every morning, helping uh, us with this little puppy. And he's going to learn all kind of new skills. He is adorable. He yes. is so cute. And can we bring in Navy Corman Joe Worley as well and his dog, Benjamin. Hi, how are you? Great to see you. Good morning. Joe, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me. We, we yeah. saw you in the piece. Before we get to our new edition, just talk a little bit about Benji and what he's done for you. I got Benjamin in 2008 uh, from America's Vet Dogs, and it so quickly to me became apparent how necessary this was for veterans to have. He's a part of my support system, and he's mitigated so much of the disability that I have that I can walk, and you know I don't, I'm not afraid of dropping things out of out of my lap. He can bring everything I need to me. Uh, you know, walking instability. He's one of the reasons why I don't spend 100% of my day in the wheelchair anymore. It's incredible what these dogs are able to do, and this training is so much a part of it. Olivia, what will this little doggy, and we're going to name him in a moment, yeah. but what's he going to be, be able to learn being around here? Yes, so, so as a puppy raiser, I have three main objectives. First and foremost, I'm going to lay the foundation for good social and house behaviors to make sure he's a welcomed presence, both out in public and in the home. I'm going to nurture his confidence so that, just like people, dogs um, think and perform best when they feel comfortable and secure. And lastly, and most excitingly, we'll be training him to do foundation service dog tasks like retrieving, pushing, and tugging. And then we can combine those tasks and expand on them to do about up to 150 different service behaviors. It, isn't it true that we don't know what kind of service dog he's going to be? You're going to wait to see how he develops and what his strengths are. Yes, around 14 months, we'll be very excited to share his temperament test with you all. And um, during this test, he'll be able to um, show us what his strengths are. And uh, he could end up being a PTSD service dog, a hearing dog, seizure response dog, a guide dog for veterans that are blind or visually impaired. And um, so we can't wait to find out what he does. Right Joe, now, we learned so much about what the dog does and how he helps, but also just the emotion of it. I think the connection is really evident. I think that uh, you know animals are just good at that. And dogs, I think, head and shoulders above the rest. It's, it's something that you know people live longer when they have animals. There's a good reason for that. You, you actually brought Benji to the office a while back. And there's something interesting. When Benji has his vest on, yes. he is all work. Yep. But if you take that vest off, <laughs> he knows it's the signal that he can have fun. Yeah, at that point, he's a dog on a leash. Aww. And that's what we're going to have with uh, our little friend yeah. as well, right? Absolutely. He'll have work time and play time. But honestly, they love their job so much, work is not much of work. <laughs> when you saw him come out of that curtain and he kind of paused, it, can you get a sense? Uh, I mean, he, he didn't get scared or anything yeah, with all the applause. Just like, wow, these people weren't here this morning. <laughs> he was kind of taking it all in, and then he immediately recovered and came straight to us. It and was this almost is a favorite a... toy right now for him. He yes. said, so he is definitely a puppy who's playing and enjoying life. Oh, yeah. Oh. The, the first few weeks are just norm, normal puppy stuff. 
Well, Olivia, also we're excited to announce that we've teamed up with the nice folks at PetSmart for this very special effort to kick it off. They're showing their support for America's vet dogs, a $25,000 donation awesome. to your organization. Look at that. How do you like that? Lick it. <laughs> that is so great. Livia, we can't wait to work with you We're and so him. We're so excited to. Thank you. Joe, thank, thank you, you so you. much for giving us a sense of what this is all going to be like. Thanks for giving me food this morning. <laughs> you got it. You're welcome. Anytime. Of course, our new puppy needs a name, and we're asking you folks at home to help with all that. All right, we got multiple choice, three military-inspired names for you to choose from. Will it be Sarge? Will it be Charlie? Or will it be Ace? Head to today.com to start casting your votes. We will reveal the name you chose tomorrow morning. All the love for this little uh, critter. Yeah. I want to say hi to Benji. Yeah, over Benji's here. a good it's guy okay. too. We're back right after this. Yeah.